A recent study shows that 66% of people are addicted to puzzles, so at least two thirds of you are still trying to figure out what Gabby sees in Nick. <laughs> We met back in 2017. Nick had just moved to America and it was actually Jack, one of the groomsmen, who brought me to a party, not Matt, <laughs> after a Friday night football game. Gabby was already at the party and had a few drinks by the time Nick got there. Brad, another of the groomsmen, was getting Nick to drink all sorts of American drinks. And it was Gabby who interrupted this to speak to Nick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Immediately, Nick got interested and he got talking. The following few days, Gabby was nervous, and it was her mother, Laurie, who pushed Gabby to message Nick, asking to meet up, and the rest is history, six years later. <laughs> One of their first dates, I was chaperoning them at an arcade. They wanted to go play video games with each other. So Gabby proceeds to beat him at every single game. <laughs> and it was so bad that at one point I thought of going over to her and saying, you do like this boy, right? <laughs> but then Nick turns the tables and he beats her at her favorite game. I believe it was Mario Kart. And they shared a moment. <laughs> I knew that they were special in that moment because I could see the respect between the two of them. Oh my god. What do you think? That, you <laughs> look incredible. You look so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's beautiful. That's a traditional Scottish look and range. Oh. So I'll okay. Keep a hold of it. Gabby, I promise to love and respect you and be there for you for whatever life may bring us. I give you my hand, my heart and all my love from this day forward and for as long as we shall both live. Nick, I promise to love and respect you and be there for you whatever life may bring us. I give you my hand, my heart and all my love from this day forward and for as long as we both shall live. May true be the hearts that love you. Ladies and gentlemen, can I present to you the happy couple, Mr. and Mrs. Chester. Nick's always loved but wildlife. He was when he was questioned on who shit in the Wendy house, he was adamant it was a bad he was adamant it was the badgers. In this case, it would have had to be a very large badger. <laughs> <laughs>